I'm going to look at the simplest Pac-Man clones first and get more complex and unique remakes later on in the video. The links to each game are in the description below and can all be played for free. A lot of them can be played in your internet browser, but a few will need to be downloaded and installed on your PC. Let's start with this one, which is just a classic arcade clone of Pac-Man. It even has controls to put in coins at the beginning. The movement feels slower than the original game, but it is a pretty accurate recreation slash clone of Pac-Man that you can play in your internet browser. This clone is of the Atari 2600 version of Pac-Man and it's made by Mike DX and he uses a DIV Game Studio. It has the same graphics and sound and also plays the same as the Atari 2600 version. Again, it is an awesome game that you can play for free in your browser. There's not much to say about this game. It feels and plays slower than the original. There is no sound. The controls feel not as responsive as it is hard to change directions. It's a pretty faithful clone besides graphics and some of these points mentioned. Again, there's not much to say about this Pac-Man clone. It's accurate to the original Pac-Man in terms of graphics, maze layout, and sound effects. Controls feel good, though the ghosts seem to move slower when you grab a power pill. It's a neat little Pac-Man clone that you can play in your browser. The graphics are a bit off, especially the ghosts in this clone. The sound effects are unique. But they tried to recreate the original Pac-Man music when you start a new game. Just a neat, simple Pac-Man clone that you can play for free. This one's a Pac-Man game made in HTML5. It's a clone with a unique maze and a nice menu slash UI. It is cool that you can go into the information and see how the ghost behaviors work in this clone. It shows you that the ghosts have different moods, a roaming mood indicated by blue walls, and then a chase mood indicated by red walls. I think the game is a bit too easy, but I also did not go past level three. Only two ghosts come out to start, and the maze is a lot smaller, so it is very easy to win. The third ghost does not come out until level three. Here is the Pac-Man Doodle game that was available to play on the Google homepage on May 21, 2010 for Pac-Man's 30th anniversary. It can be played through the link in the description, though that version does not have sound. Or you can just Google Pac-Man and play it there with sound. There was a way to play two-player when it came out, but I don't think that works on this version, as, or at least I couldn't figure it out. This is a very accurate recreation of the graphics and controls of the original Pac-Man. Controlling Pac-Man feels just like the original, if not a little bit more responsive. It has a cool Easter egg where if you get to the 256th level, the same glitch happens that also happens in the original Pac-Man game. It is just a unique Google maze to play on and something fun that Google did for the 30th anniversary. Talking about unique mazes, this remake is called World's Biggest Pac-Man and has an extremely large collection of maze designs and layouts. Anyone can make their own maze and post it here to add to the large maze. When you move off screen, you just go into another maze and you could basically keep clearing new mazes forever. This game is fun to see how creative people can get, but some of the mazes are more fun to play than others. Now we are getting into the more complex Pac-Man remakes that have a ton of added features and options. A lot of work has been put into these. They add new mazes while having the same Pac-Man gameplay and characters. While we're at this break, I would really appreciate if you could subscribe to the channel and like the video so that we can grow the channel and you can stay up to date with all the cool retro game clones that you've never heard of. 
Open Greedy is an open source Pac-Man game. It does not try to be an exact clone like a lot of these games, but it has some unique features and graphics. The controls are a little different as usually when playing Pac-Man or Pac-Man clones, the character continues to move in the same direction until it hits a wall, even if you let go of the arrow key. But in this game, if you let go of the direction, Pac-Man just stops. It comes with some pretty unique maze layout. And if you get game over, there's a continue option where you can play the latest level you got to. It has power-ups like a shield and a speed up. And the sound effects are cheesy, but awesome. Yes, I know this one isn't a Pac-Man clone, but Miss Pac-Man is basically a clone of the original Pac-Man anyway. You have to download and install this one. This is just a remake of Miss Pac-Man with larger mazes and cool music. Ghosts seem to respawn quicker, making it harder. It's a lot of fun and has everything a Miss Pac-Man fan would love. Pac-Man Mega Mix is another very polished Pac-Man remake. It has tons of art options and character customization. Change from Miss Pac-Man to Junior Pac-Man. Make the character blocky or neon. Choose maze layouts in a mode that lets you hit a button to go faster. The best part about these Pac-Man games is they let you play Pac-Man your own way and it's fun to mess with all the options. Pac-Man 5 is the Pac-Man game for you if you love options. Give yourself more lives, skip the easy levels, add more ghosts, give yourself a jump, which is just like Pac-Mania. There's tons of music options, input options, and even a sweet dance mode. You can play with a friend in two-player mode and clear the maze together. This game just feels fresh, even just with the jump option, and it makes it feel like a new and exciting game. This is one of my favorite Pac-Man remakes because of all the options and things that you can change. This Pac-Man remake is one of my favorites on the list. I went over this Pac-Man remake in my last video, which I linked below. Check that out to learn more about the ghost movement pattern mode and even practice mode. This game prides itself on being a super accurate remake of Pac-Man, while adding cool options to play. Play Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, or even a totally new Cookie Man game. You should really try this game out and dive into all the customizable settings. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate every one of you.